Hey guys, it's Kate and welcome back to my channel. Every time I start talking, this one decides he needs to join, so hopefully he doesn't get too in frame. And I am definitely running out of natural light. I had to do a couple of errands after work today, so I got home a little later than normal, but I did not want to wait any longer to film this video. So I actually have my Stony Clover from Dis the Disney, the most recent Disney collaboration box here. And it is the biggest box I've ever seen in my entire life from Sony. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in to, to do this unboxing with you. Um, the box was a little bit damaged in transit, so I'm hoping that everything came okay. Here is the beautiful iridescent bag that I think at this point, if you are a Stony lover, we all love and recognize. I'm going to take out the holographic tissue just because that's a little loud. Um, but everything is put in here, which is great. Um, also in the box, before I dive into the bag, we do have the Mickey and Friends pamphlet. I'm definitely keeping this because I want to even just, um, I think, cut out all of these little images of the characters for a scrapbook. <laughs> um, so inside we've got a couple of things. I got Donald and a Mickey postcard. Look how cute. Um, and then of course the receipt. So um, when I placed this order, it was a mad rush to the checkout. Things were selling out as I was trying to put everything in my wish list in my cart and I did not customize anything for fear that it would sell out before I could check out. I do regret that. There is something I really want to customize and I'll talk about that when I get to it. So I think I might just order the patches. The, lo the closest location to me is the Palm Beach location. So I would have to order the patches and then just keep them until I ever go to Palm Beach. But all right, so this is the first guy I got. This is the Dylan, I believe. And I chose to get the Mickey confetti print in this one. It is precious. Oh my gosh. I thought that this would just be perfect. Very 90s, early 2000s shoulder rag. I absolutely love this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. That is number one. Then I did get the bow top candle bag. This one I was hoping to get in the daisy print, but it did sell out as I was loading the cart. So I did get the mini print. I am just as happy with this one. Nothing on the back as far as customization. It's just the same print all throughout. But this handle, this bow handle, is absolutely everything. That is so cute. Come on. Come on. This is so cute. Oh, I die. All right. Two more things. I did get a Jumbo Fanny in the Donald's. I chose this one specifically. Sorry, it's so loud. Um, I chose this one specifically because we are going on several cruises coming up and I know that they have the aqueduct and I just thought that this was a really fun nautical bag that I could take with me any to any cruise. Definitely love the across the chest way to carry this, but you absolutely could carry it um, along your waist, but I really, really like this. So there is the print. It's really cute in person. Very, very vibrant. I'm super happy with that one. And then the last one is the backpack that I wanted to customize. So let me get it out of the loud packaging. Ugh. Okay. So this is the flap backpack in Feeling Goofy. 
and there's just something about this that I just really found to be very sweet. I loved the more muted creamsicle orange with the fun different images of Goofy acting silly. I love the water bottle holder on the side. I have another flat backpack from Stony Clover. Um, their Christmas, their um, velvet Mickey head print Christmas one they did and it does not have a water bottle holder so I think that this is a really nice addition to the park bags. What I wanted to have done was have my name in the Disney patches put across either Kate or Caitlin. Caitlin did fit when I customized it online so um, that is definitely something I think I'm going to do. I think I want to order the patches and just hold on to them until I can get this down to a Stony store. Um, but let me open this up for you so you can see the lining as well. Lining is just a really pretty creamsicle. All right, and then finally, the last thing in this bag that I like tossed to the side here, when you spent a certain amount of money, I feel like it was maybe $75, you did receive a patch. So I'm gonna take this out of the packaging so you can see it better. There we go. So here is the patch which is super cute. And I feel like I would want to purchase a solid color, anything, pouch, fanny, and put this on that. Um, just because everything in this collection is very printed. I mean, that is really sweet, but I just feel like that might be a little bit too much. Although, I don't know, God, that's kind of cute. I was just showing you an example but I'm really not actually mad at that. Hmm. I actually think that's kind of cute. Well, um, so that is my, how long have I been recording? I can't even see, oh, right there, 724. That is my <laughs> um, Stony Clover unboxing. I have been itching to get my hands on these. I hope that if you shopped this drop, you got everything that was on your wish list. I know I definitely did with the exception of, um, I was very interested in the big round clear top. They were marketing it as an ear holder. You can put anything in any of the Stony bags, but I thought that that would have been really nice to have for Disney travel. That sold out immediately. I did not get that. And then the bow top bag, like I mentioned, I wanted that in the Daisy print originally, but I'm very happy with the mini print as well. Um, so all I have really to do is just to get myself some patches, um, for the letters of my name and see if I can get those on the goofy backpack. Cause I think that that will add that just that extra something, that extra personalization. What do you think, Oliver? What do you think? Do you agree? Do you agree? He is the literal biggest baby. Um, but I'm going to go because clearly he is ready for some affection and um, <laughs> taking the entirety of the camera. Um, so if you guys enjoyed, please make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I will talk to you later. Bye.